Hello friends, this is our final Jesus time of the school year. Hey, hey, what do you say? It's Jesus time, hooray! Oh, I have so loved studying God's word with you. Um, and we will do so again in the future, won't we? We will not stop doing this. Um, we get to go back to church in a week and a half. I'm so excited and I hope I get to see you there. During the summer though, I want you to remember some of the tools that you have to help you have that rock solid faith that we've been learning about this week. You know, Jesus is our rock and he gives us his strength. He shares his strength with us, right? So that we can have rock solid faith. One way that we do that is to keep studying and keep reading God's word, right? Um, so friends, if you are my preschoolers, you know that you have your story sheets. Maybe you have them. I'm hoping that you have many of them that we had through the year. Um, one way that I like to use our story sheets, if you have kept these and put them in your Jesus Time box, I'm hoping you'll have many of them. Um, I like to play a little game. I actually put a back on my story sheets so that I could play a little game. You don't have to do that. You can take your sheets and just spread them out on the floor. So I like to play a game and spread all of these cards out on the floor and then one by one I turn them over and see if I can remember what they were about. Who were the characters and what was the problem and how did it get solved? Usually, or every time I should say, it is solved through Jesus, right? All the stories that we heard about, they all had to do with Jesus. And they were true, true stories. Every single one of them happened, didn't they? All right, they are not fiction stories. They are non-fiction. They really, really happened. All right, so yeah, just going through a picture walk of some of the stories that we had this year too is a great activity to do. We started the whole year with this story. This was the very first one we did. Jesus blesses the children. We learned how Jesus loves kids, big people and little people. He loves you just as much as the big people, right? All right, yep, oh, there's the same picture. We had Jesus in church. Oh, I can't wait to be back in his house with you. And the story of Jesus being born, Jesus calming the storm, standing up and saying, wind and waves, be still, right? So powerful. Jesus helping Peter to walk on water, reminding Peter to keep his eyes on Jesus. Don't look at the wind and the waves beside you. Keep your eyes on me, Peter. He says that to you too. The story of Jesus rising from the grave, probably the best story of the whole year right there because it means we are saved, right? Jesus going back to heaven. These are just some of the stories that we've had this year, guys. Oh, this is from this week. Jesus talking about the two builders. Mary and Martha. Oh, the loaves and the fish when Jesus did that miracle and fed more than 5,000 people. Zacchaeus up in the tree. Jesus dying on the cross. Another one of the most important stories of the whole year. Jesus dying on the cross for us. Yeah, so those are just some of them. So you can spread them out, turn them over and look at the picture and see if you can remember the story, okay? Another tool that I shared with you just a couple days ago was this. You got a little scavenger hunt packet from me and inside that scavenger hunt packet is a little pack of memory treasure cards. Guys, Take a look at these. I wanted to teach you this one today, okay? It is one of my favorites. It's from 1 Corinthians, and it goes like this. Are you ready? Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. You have to stand and stomp when you do that. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. We do that when we stay in Jesus. Let's do it together. Try it with me. Ready? Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. That are, those are God's words from his Bible. 
All right, so that's one of the Bible memory treasure cards that you have on this ring. And there are so many more that we have learned throughout the year. See if you can go through them and remember the actions that we did with them, the um, um, sign language signs that we did with them. Um, yeah, and if you can't remember, you can always ask me and I'll help you remember, okay? Um, there are a couple of cards at the very end, too, that do not have any words on them. Maybe you have found some memory treasure words in the Bible while you were reading with your mom and dad that you want to write down. It would be so awesome if you could keep adding cards to this ring so that you have a whole ring of treasure words to keep with you and remember maybe you can add your own and fill up this whole ring look there's lots of room for more cards It'd be so cool all right guys well that is another tool that you can use to stay in God's Word all right another thing that you received from me at our parade the other night was something like this mine looks a little bit different than yours but it means the same thing do you have a sun in your scavenger hunt packet? It would look kind of like this and it has a sparkly cross on it. There's a magnet on the back so that you can put it up somewhere in your house. Maybe you can find something magnetic to stick this to. Your refrigerator would be a great spot. Um, but this says, spend your summer in the sun. And I'm not talking about the kind of sun that shines through the windows. I'm talking about God's sun. Stay in the sun this summer. Stay in Jesus. He does not take a break from taking care of us, does he? He's with us every day. We're not going to take a break from him during the summer, are we? We still need to be in worship. We want to be in worship. We want to be in his word. And so stay in Jesus. I hope to see you at church and keep reading your Bibles every single day, okay? All right, friends, let's pray about that. We'll, we'll end our school year with a prayer together, okay? You can just listen, you don't have to copycat this time. Here we go. Dear Jesus, we thank you for letting us be together this school year. We have learned so much about you and have grown in our faith. You make us strong, Jesus. We can't do that on our own at all. Thank you for dying on the cross to take away our sins and for rising for us. We know you have given us heaven. You are amazing and we love you. Thank you for loving us first. Amen. Thank you, friends. It has been so awesome to be in the Word with you. I had to do my last lesson here at school. Do you see that I'm at school? This room is missing you. <laughs> All right. Well, friends, Jesus loves you. I love you. God bless you until we meet again. Goodbye.